Hello, welcome to the crafting table for this month in No Man's Land, November. So we start out November just moving some more pallets around. Looks like we're picking up the mushrooms and flowers right now. And I believe, I believe we have the second storage unit, I think. No, not yet. Not yet, it looks like. We do end up buying a second storage, just because of all the stuff that we end up having. Yeah, this month is the, uh, <laughs> this month is the high income month, if I remember correctly. And we start, uh, kind of moving things around, getting things, getting things ready. For when we switch over to having working with cows instead of uh, just selling instead of just selling silage I'm going to be moving it off to hay silage and then probably one of the I think I'm going to have to buy straw bales in the beginning and then eventually we can just start uh, probably harvesting oats just because oats that'll be used for cereal but then the straw, we can use that for the bedding and the the mix to make uh, total mixed ration for the cows. But that's the that's the plan for the future. We're getting getting semi close to, or we will be getting semi close this month to starting up milk production with the cows. Just because we do have the field capacity to make enough hay and silage to feed quite a few cows. Although I think we're going to have to start off with not the pastures, but the uh, first barn size for the cows. So the, um, oh, what, what size is it? I believe it's 45 cows. Is that the first sized barn? or the first barn is able to handle. I think the pasture only handles about 15 cows. So like we're just finishing up fertilizing everything. Okay, just a little bit left to do along the side and a little bit in the middle. I was honestly thinking about um I was seriously giving thought to possibly shutting off the uh, precision farming just because when you go and you switch there's there's so many things maybe not so many things wrong with it but whenever you go and you say turn turn a field into a meadow instead of the other way around the everything kind of stays the same on it. I don't know. I think I think I had that thought while I was actually playing just my own personal game that I've, I've been, you know, my own personal farm that I've been playing on or whatever. And I just, I noticed too many problems with the precision farming a lot of the time. Like things don't update properly. Uh, you could you could have one field right, and you do the the proper tillage, so you you have the direct drill uh, till over the field and plant a field, but then it'll show up that oh you're missing like one point off of tillage because I don't even know why. And this could be after, like, several plantings with with the direct drill. I don't know if it's just an issue with precision farming, or maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I don't think so. Looks like right now we're just liming all the fields. Uh, probably been pretty behind on the liming, putting the lime in the fields, getting the pH to the proper level. 
don't get me wrong, I'd love to keep precision farming on, but it, I don't know. It just seems like there's too many problems with it. Uh, maybe maybe it's interacting Im improperly with another mod, possibly? I'm not really sure. Okay, so we've got all the fields limed, fertilized. Uh, there's no weeding required since it's um, it's just grass, so weeds don't grow in it. And I think when I was, because I've been, you know, kind of getting ahead of schedule as far as recording these. So December, while I was editing December, I kind of decided, was it editing December? I think it was editing December. But I kind of, no, it was recording January. So I was kind of rolling around, doing the standard things I'm usually doing, moving pallets and all that. And I decided that, I was going to keep the keep the sheep and if anything probably end up getting the biggest sheep barn so that way we can get more wool per year to be able to sell and in April I believe it's April is when wool is worth the most possibly March I think it just it kind of depends on what map it's on But we're just moving stuff around, uh, kind of burning through the days pretty quickly because there's not much to do except for move, move these different things, move the different pallets, prep for selling day, market day. I think one thing I still need to buy is a, a round bale loader. So we still got a bunch of stuff in here. We actually have way more in that storage unit than what is actually displayed. And I think that's why I end up buying another storage shed. I mean, these storage sheds are really nice, but they only hold 250, which seems like a lot. But when you have a lot of crates being generated, uh, pallets being generated, and bales to store and whatnot... Uh, it, it adds up pretty fast. You fill these things up pretty quick. In fact, I think it was January or possibly December when I noticed, like, man, I'm probably going to have to have, like, three or four of these things. Especially since I only decided about midway through this year to start... Was it about midway through this year, I think, when I decided to start selling things at the proper, like, the highest they could possibly be? The only things I'm not selling at the highest possible price is the mushrooms and the flowers because they just generate so quickly. You'll fill up probably two of these things with just a couple of couple of these. But I think I, I think I wanted to start. I needed to start. I needed to start getting things out. So this is think this is me just selling a few things midway through the month to make some room because I've started running out of storage capacity and the the smaller silage bale just isn't important to keep around really since you'd have to transport that one by itself you can't put it with the other ones so I am selling some stuff right now to make some make some room and I've I was like, man, why is that not selling? So we made about a little, little over 21000 just off of those few things, which is pretty nice because that gets me the money I need to build another storage shed. I don't know if I already built it. Probably not. No, I haven't built it yet. I still have the money. I see it. I see that now, so... So just burning through the days again, just trying to get through. We do have a full pallet of wool, so we're going to transport that over. And if I remember right, like I said, this was kind of the big money month since I had so many silage bales. I 
more flowers and such. That look like maybe strawberries I just put in there, or possibly honey. Actually generate a lot of honey pallets, which is good because once we start producing cereal, we're gonna need a lot of honey, a lot of oats, a lot of corn, a lot of raisins. Um, but I think the next thing we're gonna be working on after we get the cows up and going Uh, we're going to start saving and getting ready for grapes. That's going to be the next challenge, is getting grapes going. I don't really know where we're going to do that. We're going to have to buy a new section of land to make some room for that. And we're going to have to clear out the wood. Like, if there's any trees kind of in the way and whatnot, we're going to have to clear that out. Because uh, I kind of want to keep... I know I was talking about turning that big field over there on like 25 and 35, if you, if you can see in the mini-map there. The, the, that big field of grass, I know I was talking about turning that into the, into the vineyard, but i possibly thinking about just keeping that as grass. But at the same time, there is some land I still have that isn't used yet that I could start using for for more grass. So here we go. This is... This is me buying the new shed, and I try to kind of butt it up against the other shed as close as possible. Just trying to make sure it's lined up. I wish there was kind of a snapping thing that you could snap up against, you know, kind of the other... Kind of how they do with the silage bunkers, where you can snap the other silage bunkers against one another, so that way they're kind of aligned. I wish they would do that with some of these the storage sheds. They should probably try and do that, maybe patch that in somehow some quality of life stuff there so now we're just kind of sleeping through we're in we're just about getting ready to sell the silage and I decided to get the silage bales out and move them over so one side's gonna be bales of like hay and silage and straw and such and this is why I'm thinking I'm gonna have to use a third storage shed for just the silage bales alone. Just because of how much how much silage I can get off of all this grass. And initially that's kind of what we're gonna have to be doing until we get enough money for not only the, the barn but the cows as well. And I think what we're probably gonna do is we're probably just gonna buy five adult cows initially. And we might, we might have to wait for for them to give birth to get more cows, because cows are pretty expensive. So it looks like we're just getting ready to sell all the bales, and you're you're gonna see. I mean, we make a lot of money this month. So that's about twenty twenty eight seven. 28,700 per per load I want to say and we have a lot of silage bales to sell so here's another one so it's roughly about the same 287 and I think we have I don't even know I think we have like six more of these to go through because we end up in the 200,000 plus range by the end of this and the price is kind of going down a little bit so that's 27.8 instead of 28.7 so I was trying to sell as much as possible as quickly as possible I don't think this was the last amount. I think there was still bales to sell. We had a lot. We had a lot of silage bales because when I decided to stop selling them, it was two, two harvests worth of silage bales. I think I just returned that. So no, that was all the silage bales actually. So now it's just um, uh, mushrooms and mushrooms and flowers. Which I believe ends up getting us a lot of money. I 
Oh, and they actually changed it recently. That that no longer... You can no longer just drive the crates up to it and it'll take it off the forks. You actually have to drop them off the forks. So it looks like we're getting close to the end here. And we're just probably going to load these up on the... Yep, there it is. I'm just going to load them up, take them out. Yeah, we make a lot of money off of this month. Uh, maybe it wasn't 200000 Kind of wondering how I ended up getting 200000 go. That's quite a bit right there. About 21, 22,000. But that is it for this month in No Man's Land November. Thanks for stopping by and checking it out. Hope you enjoyed yourself and hopefully we'll see you in December. Until then, have a great night everyone.